Hello everyone, this is Charles Folkart on March the 5th, 2017. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing these videos and thank you very much for your comments. Particularly on this video here, I uploaded on March 31st. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, I must have hit a truth nerve on some of you Judeo-Christians because you just went ballistic. And the first thing I noticed is a lot of you people that responded, you didn't pause, you didn't stop, you didn't adhere to the wisdom in Proverbs 1.5. A wise man will listen, a wise man will hear, and a wise man will increase learning. Oh, no, 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 no. The first thing you did, read jerk reaction, folk heart's wrong, Kapner's right. I'm going to defend Kapner. How dare you attack Kapner? Kapner's not a Jew, blah, 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 blah. He exposes the Jews. He's not a, he's not a, um, uh, a Jew. He's a, he's a Russian Orthodox. He's a Christian Orthodox. And, the Itching Ears LLC, truth be gone, should be flying off the shelves for all of you people that just can't handle the truth. One of the points I made at the end of the video is, is that you Judeo-Christians would rather fly off to India, run down to Central America, send your money to the Jew, Send your money to Israel, send your money to John Hagee, then support your own race. And I want to thank you for making my point. As much as you don't want to hear that, the cognitive dissonance, I could smell it in the, in the, in the comments. And it's just, it just reinforced everything that I had to say on that video. So I'm going to answer uh, as many of your objections as possible and as many as your erroneous beliefs and strongly held views about Kapner and the whole situation that we Caucasians, we Israelites face here in the United States. A lot of you just don't get it, but there's a lot of you who do, and I want to give you the thumbs up. A lot of you get it, and it's very encouraging to see that. So we're going to get into that here in a minute, but right now I want to go to uh, a portion of my video that I that I recorded here and I want to play one little part of it how to do that the, the Christian bakery doesn't have the right to decide who they're going to bake a cake for but the Jew owned corporations they have a right to decide whether they want to provide you the service and folks you Judeo Christians better wake the hell up because the Jews are buying everything with their fake money and before you know it they're going to control everything and you're just going to be a little slave a little sheeple in a pen and you're not going to be able to do anything other than what the Jew will allow you to do. And a lot of you, a lot of you Judeo Christians are not concerned yet because you still have your toys, you still have your 401k plans, you still have your pensions, you still have your social security checks coming in, you still have your little bank accounts with some uh, some uh, fiat currency in it. So you're not concerned yet because you can still go out there and play golf. You can drive around in your RV, and you can ignore what's going on in the world you can use the truth be gone and you can ignore the truth you can continue to call people like me and others who point out the hypocrisy of the Jew and the incompatibility and the impossibility of being a Jew lover and a Christian at the same time because things for you are still going on as they always have it's called normalcy bias everything's always been this way you think everything's always going to be that way but I'm giving you a warning right now when the dollar collapses and it is going to collapse sooner than later and I talk about the Federal Reserve no collapse guaranteed, and here's why. This is actually a re-upload of a previous video I had done just like it a couple years before. So it's not a new video, but uh, you can get a lot of information out of here. It's only 15 minutes long, and I will remind you, I do have a background. I have a 
a degree in economics. If you're interested, you can come back here and watch it. Here's the link right there. All of your 401k plans, all of the money in your bank account, all of those checks you're getting for the pensions every month, all of your Social Security is going to be at risk. Jim Willie, for example, estimates there will be a 30% devaluation of the U.S. currency immediately. You're going to lose 30% of the value of whatever you think you have in these Jew assets. And then there's going to be another 30% right on top of that. So it's going to go down to 50%. The Jew money, the little bit of money they let us have, they're making billions. And then when we start to make money and we start to uh, uh, accumulate some wealth and we start to accumulate the potential to be successful and have our family have some wealth that we can pass on, they take it away. And most of you Judeo-Christians, you don't care. You don't care about the, your own race. You'd rather fly off to India. You'd rather go down to Central America. You'd rather help the blacks in Africa than you would your own race. And you'd rather send money to the Jew captor than, to, than support the individuals in your own race that are telling you the truth that you don't want to hear. So this is one fella. This is one individual that's not going to shed any tears whatsoever when the Jew shekel money fails and it's coming soon. And these Jews, they know what's coming and they're making arrangements. They're preparing like most, unlike most non-Jews. And it's going to be a shocker to 99.9% .9 of you people out there. And I welcome the day when the Jew money is no longer accepted worldwide and the only place that Jew money is going to be accepted is here in the United States and it's not going to buy anything. The day of reckoning is coming and it's coming sooner and sooner every day and most of you are not going to be prepared. Most of you Judeo-Christians are clueless. And some of you Judeo-Christians are out there saying, oh Charles, you're just... Okay, what most of you Judeo-Christians don't understand because you don't understand your Bible, like I've said, your knowledge of the Bible is an inch deep. Once a racial Jew, always a racial Jew. Kapner can come out and say that he's converted to the Russian Orthodox Church, but that doesn't change the fact that by race, he's a Jew. The enemy of the Christian, the Israelite, Caucasian Christian, is the racial Jew. I'm not going to go into that in here. There's other videos I have here on my channel, and there's lots of other videos out there that explain that. The Jew does not descend from Jacob, Israel. They descend from Cain, Esau. Enough said on that. 90% of you, it's going to go right over your head. You're going to block your ears. You're going to need truth be gone for that one. So Kavner admits uh, or uh, says he's a Russian Orthodox. Okay, so the Russian Orthodox is basically the Russian version of the Roman Catholic Church. And I'm not going to go into all that, but you people start need to start doing some of your own research because you just accept what people say and you... Kapner says, oh, I'm a, I'm a Russian, I'm an Orthodox Christian. And you say, oh, well, he's a Christian. He's a Christian by name. Uh, if he was wearing a reverse collar and he was calling himself a, a Roman Catholic, you'd, you'd, whoa, wait a minute, that's not Christian. That's Catholic. That's Roman Catholic. So let's just scroll down here. Look at this. This is what they were, the Roman, uh, I'm sure, sorry, the, the, it's, it's the same thing. The, the Russian orthodox churches they're the the uh, like i said they're the they're the uh, russian version of the catholics the icon the virgin mary and if you listen to uh, the background of kapner himself telling you he says he went into the russian orthodox church there somewhere in new york or wherever he was selling um he's a salesman i should clue you in right there folks but uh, hey and the the incense was such a fragrance and the idols and the prayers and the chants he was he was enthralled by all that okay this is what the the russian orthodox church does they dress up in the long robes the long clothing so that they come across to other people the the average person like you and i as more spiritual than we are they're 
different than we are. They walk down and they get the attention of the average serf and the average plebe. And I don't know why you people, you Christian Judeo-Christians, don't see that there's no difference between the Roman Catholic Church and the Russian Orthodox Church. See, most of you Judeo-Christians don't even read your Bible, must less, must less go more than a half inch deep. Mark 12, 38, this is the Lord Jesus, non-Jew Christ talking here, folks. And he, the Lord Jesus, said unto them in his teaching, Beware of the scribes. Beware of the scribes which love to go in long clothing and love salutations in the market places. And in case you miss it in Mark, we also have it in Luke. Luke 20, 46, beware of the scribes. You know what that word means, beware? It means be wary, be concerned, look out. Beware of the scribes which desire to walk in long robes and love greetings in the marketplaces, in the high seats in the assemblies and chief rooms at the feast. Now, I didn't say this. The Lord Jesus said this. Now, let's go have a look at the Russian Orthodox Church, and then let's go have a look at Brother Nathaniel, shall we? So here we are. The long clothing, the long robes, the mitre, the greetings in the marketplace. They want everybody to look up to them. They're special. They're different than we are. They're more spiritual. They have truth we don't have. We have to go to them in order to understand what the scripture says. All right? I think I made my point, people. Jesus Christ said, beware of exactly this thing. So who is, quote, Brother Milton Kapner? He claims to be a Russian Orthodox monk. Let's go check that out, shall we? So here's your Russian Orthodox monk in a, what I call a clown suit and what the Bible calls long flowing robes or long clothing. And they love the attention in the marketplace. Look at this guy. He's drawing attention to himself and that's exactly what scripture says that we shouldn't do that we should be aware of these types of people i don't know what part of that you judeo christians don't get I'm yesterday i don't know what you were doing i don't know it's weird i think he's a freak actually joy to the world oh uh, yeah that's uh, brother nathaniel the lord is it's god kind of ex monk or something at every home. Well, we're having church. I started coming here last year. Nobody knew me, no one ever saw me before. And wonders of his love. People started honking. People started waving. <laughs> it was as if they were expecting me. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm a street evangelist. At every heart. He's a character. There in room. I love going to the resorts because I rub shoulders with people. He's representing. Glory. Preach without saying a word. It says it all. I love people. I was a salesman. He cheers me up every morning. It's funny, man. He cracks me up. He's committed to what he does. Many of the people that drive by, they don't go to church. They admit to me. Of course, they're okay. We'll have church outside. So this is the perfect place here in Summit County, here in the Rocky Mountains. I can share with people. This is what I believe. Maybe a little bit of sanity, a little bit of lunacy. <laughs> At least they see that I'm enthusiastic about it. He looks cold. The only thing that gets cold on me is my hands. <laughs> there's also guy can stand out here in these blizzards. Go out onto the street. I want to bring this cross off of the wall because that's what Christmas is all about. I know that he was born Jewish and he was converted to Christianity. Oh, was a monk for eight years in the monastery. And I'll spread the goodwill, the Christmas message, to every day of the year. I love it. Park that road. Just for the sheer fact, the guy will go stand sing. on a corner and dance in freezing temperatures. And have it and nature sing. Just to make people smile. <laughs> well, I appreciate you, brother.
Many people come up to me and they ask me, oh. from Nathaniel, what is the message that you're trying to put across? <laughs> what is the message that you're receiving? That's the message. <laughs> yeah! I love it. It's not calling. It's no question about it. And Evan and Nietzsche's. Did you hear that guy at the very beginning of that little clip? He thinks he's a freak. See, people, that's an accurate account or an accurate view, I believe, of Milton Kapner. He's an attention hog. He even said, before I came out here in the middle of the streets with my clown suit on and my right hand glove white and my other hand glove black in the crucifixion and and I'm drawing attention to myself. That's exactly what scripture says to beware of. And what's he pushing? Christ Mass. Christ Mass. Folks, Christ Mass, Christmas, has absolutely nothing to do with Christianity. Just like Easter has nothing to do with Christianity. I don't know. Anyway, here's the statement, the official statement from the Chancery of the Rokor Russian Orthodox Synod of Bishops regarding Milton Kapner. And it talks about him. Um, the actions of Nathaniel Kapner do not, do not have the blessings of the Synod of Bishops. Profoundly saddened by the state of his soul, we call upon Nathaniel Kapner to refrain from posting on the internet, but even the synod of bishops of the Russian Orthodox Church, they shun him, they're telling him to stop his actions on the internet. I didn't say that, folks. They did. I'm not going to beat a dead horse, but uh, here's a link here. Ripoff report. Milton Kapner, brother Nathaniel, is a mentally ill from Denver, Colorado. There's the link. You can come back and read it if you dare. But maybe you would rather have some of that truth be gone. Your choice. <clears throat> I take that back. Some of you people out there, you need to beat the the horse again and one more time here's another link you can come back here and read it i tried to find this uh blog here david able to blogspot to get the uh more information on this but here's another uh piece of evidence that uh, nathaniel's uh, not all there folks <laughs> And there was some supporter of uh, Milton Kapner, the clown in the Christian Orthodox, Russian Christian Orthodox, uh, long robes, long clothing, who loves the attention in the marketplaces, in the chief seats, in the synagogue, in the assemblies. He said, oh, well, Charles, you've got 900 
subscribers and Milton has 115,000. So who am I going to listen to? <laughs> you know, the thinking is the thinking. That's kind of, uh, the, you know, the thinking of some of you people is just unbelievable. If the fellow had watched some of my videos, he would know that that is an appeal to popularity. That's a logical fallacy. One, most people prove of Milton Kapner. They like Milton Kapner, therefore Milton Kapner is good. Milton Kapner is, is true. Milton Kapner is um, a person to support. That's a logical fallacy, folks. That's like saying, well, most people believe 19 heirs with box cutters pulled off 9-11, so therefore the adult fairy tale, the conspiracy theory of 19 heirs with box cutters must be true, and everybody who doesn't believe that must be wrong. Or we could use the Holocaust, the hoax of the Holocaust. Most people believe the Holocaust happened, so therefore it did happen, and therefore it's true. And if you happen to disagree with that, there's something wrong with you, and I'm not going to listen to what you have to say. I, I just, it's just amazing how ignorant most people. The Jew, Kapner, is looked up to or is considered different by the Judeo-Christians for that very reason, because he's Jewish, just like Jonathan Kahn and Benny Hinn. The Judeo-Christian has this mistaken concept in their head that be put there by the Jew that the Jews are somehow God's chosen. They're special. Kapner's had his channel since July 2010. This is almost seven years later. Yes, he's got 115,000 subscribers. Most of them Judeo-Christians who don't have a clue, and that probably includes you. Let's go have a look at my channel. May 19th, 2015. Less than two years. Why don't we come back in another five years, and let's see... Let's compare subscribers and views then, shall we? That's a fair comparison. Learn how to critically think, people. That's what I'm trying to teach you. You know, some of you people criticize me because uh, I thought it was pretty funny that uh, the Jew Shulman threw the Jew Kapner down the well. And you defended Kapner because I uh, expose Kapner for who he is. And you criticize me because I shouldn't be upset that Kapner has lost, you said in your words, he's lost his ability to earn a living. No, Kapner has not lost his ability to earn a living. And yet you people are defending him and I can show you the comments down here, and there's several of them, that you're defending Kapner. But when I told you that that Jew judge, Jaroslavsky, not only took away my wealth that I accumulated over a 20-year period of time, he also took away my means of earning an income. One or two of the comments were, God, that's not right, Charles. Very, very, very few people came forth and said, you know what, what that Jew judge did to you was wrong. I also tell you how Amazon and Lulu censored my book, and very, very few people care. Look at this, 23 views. Do I have any comments? I have a few comments. Yes, there's two or three comments. Thank you for that. There are some people that get it. So did you say, did some of you Judeo-Christians go, well, gee, that Jew Amazon, they censored your book. That's something I want to buy. I want to get my hand. I want to support you, Charles. No, no, no. You didn't say that. No, but you're all over supporting Kapner, aren't you? Just prove my point. Thank you for doing that. And also, I've also brought it up here a little bit. I, and I'm going to just 
point out your 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 hypocrisy here, you Judeo Christians. I pointed out to you that I spent a three and a half year battle in the Montana court system here against two Jew judges, and I had to spend three and a half years of my life defending false allegations by against me, and it crimped my ability to earn a living and it depleted my uh, funds and uh, very 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 few of you people even came forth and said gee Charles that's not right that's wrong very very I shouldn't say nobody there were a few that cared but in the overall scope of things nobody cares but man, you people are coming out of the woodwork to defend Mr. Kapner because he lost his ability to use PayPal. That is to me unbelievable how you will come and you prove my point. This Jew judge Jaroslavsky has been taking the wealth away from every non-Jew man that comes into his courtroom if his wife objects to his being able to keep the wealth that he accumulated. This judge takes his wealth away from him and not a peep out of any of you you don't give a damn and that's exactly what I said and I had some other guy on there yeah it was a guy he says oh you're hiding the likes and dislikes because most people dislike your videos and I showed him a a screencast of an earlier version of this. Well, guess what, buddy? You're wrong again. You're wrong again. Here's the likes 99 and the dislikes 67. And so more people agree with me than don't agree with me. And most of the people coming to this video are probably Judeo Christians. And I've said it many times before you Judeo Christians have your heads up your posterior. You get that? You're an oxymoron. <laughs> and now people are going to say, oh, you're bitter. No, I'm not bitter. I've gone on with my life. I've survived. And I've been to several different countries because of what that Jew judge did to me. I've lived in four non-white third world countries i've traveled all over asia i've traveled all over central america i've lived a full life and i'm anything but bitter angry yes and you know what you're going to be angry too when the jew does to you what the jew has done to me you're going to be angry too and you're and you might even be bitter because they're going to take all of your wealth and they're going to take everything you think you have in the Jew assets. And let's end it up here, shall we? You know what? I'm going to end it up with this. Um, I try to give you something in return. I give you a book. If you want to buy this book, I get a few shekels after the publisher's costs and the shipping. The amount of money that I get out of a book probably wouldn't buy me a, a meal, a lunch at a inexpensive restaurant, okay? But at least you've got something in your hand when you're done. I also started a rocket stove business so I can earn a living and I can't afford the shop. I'm not complaining, folks. I'm just telling you the facts. I don't wear a clown suit. I don't stand on the street corner. I'm not a Jew, and I'm not asking for for your pity or your... I don't want you to feel sorry for me. Don't feel sorry for me. I don't need your money. My God shall supply all of my need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. He always has. He always will. I've made it over 60 years without your help. I'm pretty sure I'll make it the next 60 without it. But if God puts it on your heart, uh, you know what I, what I guess I'm trying to tell you people is you're, you're sending them your hard-earned money to the wrong people.
Let me give an example right here on this page. Right here on this page, do you share a birthday with a child, a black child in Africa in poverty? <laughs> See, don't send your money to your own race here in uh, the homeless high school students in Kalispell, Montana, like I mentioned on the on the Hagee uh, um, video. No, 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 don't do that. Send it to the black children in Africa because that's more spiritual. You're You're doing God's work. <laughs> you know what? Don't send me your money. I don't want your money, okay? I'm going to tell the truth, and I'm going to tell all the truth. And uh, if God puts it on people's heart, and they have, he has, and I thank you for that. And you get the blessing, but don't send me money because you feel sorry for me. Don't send, Don't think I'm begging you for money. I'm not. You, you go ahead and put your money anywhere you want to, but... Uh, there's scripture verses that said the talent is the 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 assets that the Lord gives you is put in the wrong place. Uh, you're not going to get any return for it. Now I'm not saying giving me money is going to give you a return. No, no, no. In fact, you know what? Don't send me any money. Okay, I don't want your money. We're going to end it there because a lot of people can't handle the long videos. But uh, it does also prove my point that. The, the captain video was one of the longest videos I've done, and it's got the, quite a few views and quite a few comments. So short videos don't always don't aren't always the most effective or aren't always the most important videos out there. So I thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Don't send me your money. I don't want it. And I appreciate all of those who have supported me, and may you embrace the love of the truth. And may the grace of God our Father and the non-Jew, the Lord Jesus Christ, be with us all, for we certainly need it. See ya.